gamers and gentle gamers i hope you grabbed your popcorn i know that was a quick break but we got action on top of action on top of action and only a few teams remain it's g1 going up against native red the winner of this plays against complexity for the whites to make it into the grand finals get hype imperian capture the flag is game number one looks like g1 are already up to one here we go. I mean, this this is a little bit of a rough one for me, Tony. I think um, both of these teams so very solid. Native Red obviously sending Optic home in a 3-1 fashion, but G1 with a massive change that have made them a very solid team and definitely a team to watch as this uh, season goes on. But a 2-1 lead for G1 and they continue to try to take control of Native Red's side here. They don't get the all the kills necessary, but Sab is sneaky inside of the shotgun. His ability to stay alive here is what's important. If he can delay for just a little bit of time, it gives him his team time to push through. Yeah, I feel like oh, G1 and Native Red always have a really good matchup, but I can't ignore the fact that G1 3 0'd this same Native Red squad over in the winner's bracket. Now, obviously, it's a different circumstances, but it, this G1 squad has been looking good, and uh, so is their new pickup. 20 and 12 is suppressed at the moment. Five assists to go along with it, and as of right now, gamers first pulling yet another flag, and Native Red find themselves to be three down once again. Yeah, they get that flag over to green and now all Falcated has to well, all he had to do was utilize those rockets to prevent that return unfortunately not going to have any teammates to utilize to help that facilitate but rockets are not in the hands of native red which is good for g1 because they can continue to play this defensive side and not have to worry about that power weapon on the map once again, Native Red finding himself three down here. Suppressed already applying pressure over toward the green side. Couple of warning shots onto Talik. Talik trying to stay alive, but the nades are coming. Talik able to take down Falcated, but it's suppressed and Boo Boo Doo Boo with back to back kills. Double suppressed getting kill. the double kill onto Drunk and right back into the action. Another flag being pulled, and again, it's G1 suppressed watching Soul Stipe, making sure that none of the spawners can get any kind of angles onto Sab running the flag, and he's already turned the corner. Sab already has that flag into G1 territory. And he's got assistance as well with Boo Boo and Falcated being on the plat. Boo-Boo's just going to play body block while Falcated puts the third flag in. Now it's up to Native Red to try to get this counter cap, but they don't have the health to do so. Druk was no shields. And that just goes to show how much damage is such an important factor in this game. They get Druk down the no shields. Five seconds before his shields come back up, he's not able to do anything. And even though that counter cap looked really good, Native Red are not able to capitalize on it. Two minutes and 47 seconds on the clock for Native Red to capture two at the moment here. I guess the goal right now is to just get one on the board. Get yourself in sudden death territory. As Soul Sniper and Sab gonna trade out their life there. Druk getting a huge kill. Oh. Sniper into the BR combo to take down Suppress, but down to one shot he goes. Boo boo doo boo. Trying to create space, trying to find the an angle, and there it is. Finally able to take down Druk. Now pushing up here. Excellent shots on the Talik to finish with the sniper. As Native Red clear out their side of the base. Overshield and rockets coming up soon. And they've got one dead on the side of G1, but unfortunately, Manny trades out. And look at the team shot. My goodness. Tony, we've got to talk about this edition of Suppressed. 28 and 16 in this game thus far. A player that, you know, like we always talk about, makes every team better. But I, I really do think he's found a home here. He looks extremely solid on this roster. Double kill. Yeah, not only has Suppress been looking so good on his previous rosters, but somehow he looks even better here on Gamers First. Like he's at 28 kills to his name. Meanwhile, Falcon the one just sitting up high onto the tower side, forcing all of that attention from Native Red onto him while the rest of G1 start to move into position. Soul Snipe was able to take down Sab, but Suppress bounces right back off his spawn, taking down Drunk Manny, trying to support fire from across the map, but Falcon is still sitting up high and being a nuisance a thorn in the side of native red yeah and he still continues to, uh, to to get this top tower control finally goes down but a great play there by him to de-scope the player coming off a spot and make sure that he can essentially get away 
They do get the first, or I'm sorry, their second flag out right now, and they might have the firepower to get it through. But again, Boo Boo Doo Boo with a double. Gonna be there just in time. The pinch comes through, and G1 once again gonna stop another flagpole. And uh, this might have been the most impactful flag stop right there because with 41 seconds on the clock, you know, Native Red were really kind of desperate just to put them within one, like we said, within that sudden death territory. And with that stop, it might have made it as close to mathematically impossible for Native Red to cap two on the board. And they're going to continue to fight through Manny flying and trying to do that initial damage off the suppress. And he's actually is going to chase. I was going to say, I don't think he has time to chase him down, but at this point, they're just playing Slayer, patting the stats just a bit. We're going to be moving on to game number two and gamers first will be up 1-0 in the series. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and pull this flag out, but they're not going to get it out there in time. There's no way. So there it is. Like you said, Native Red. Not going to be able to close this one out. G1 do, though. 1-0 in the series thus far. And uh, this is a loser's bracket semifinals, so a must-win game, obviously, for both teams. Backs up against the wall. The winner of this series will go on to play complexity in the loser's bracket finals. And of course, FaZe waiting in the grand finals for whoever wins that matchup. Tony, what a, this has been a great day. We're still not done. We, we, we've got many more matches here. Live Fire on Slayer is going to be the next match for us to watch. Yeah, many more matches, but not many more series. Uh, we're going to see a lot of games. But after G1 versus Native Red, it's the elimination finals. Yeah. And after that, it's grand finals time ladies and gentlemen there's only four teams left in this tournament g1 native red complexity and phase we've seen the the, the empires of, of space station crumble we've seen optic get eliminated early we've seen sentinels get taken out a little earlier than expected and even the 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 surging avengers and rebellion already out in this tournament only four remain and will it be g1 going to elimination bracket finals or can Native Red answer back on Live Fire Slayer? Something tells me Native Red, they like it a little bit of uh, Live Fire Slayer. <laughs> we will see. Well, we'll see. This is going to be a very important match for them to tie up the series. G1 looking very, very solid, though, with the addition of Suppress. And uh, definitely want to focus on him, but going to be on board with Falcated here. That OS coming up in about eight seconds now. Comes up at 11.30, and Native Red is positioned for that. A great job by Native Red to control the tower and control this side of the map so that OS can be theirs. That first OS is going gonna, is gonna to set the tide of the game. Soul Snipe was able to take down Sav over towards the overshot side of the map, and Falcated coming in with that green gun. Making sure that Overshot ain't going anywhere. Meanwhile, Suppress Snipe. with the Sniper Rifle connects with another quick scope and then puts the work Oof. onto Soul Snipe, almost able to take them down. Down to Absolute, he goes. Boo Boo Doo Boo sneaking in out of nowhere. Sab staying alive over towards the green side of the map, doing the best he can. Nades and all coming in. Talik, him and Native Red have to get out of this green spawn. They have to fight out and headbutt gamers first who were flying at them and also hawking them with the sniper. Yeah, G1 doing a really good job of isolating the, the, the staggered spawns on to be there. They end up going down, so leaves a little breathing room for Native Red to come out and get control of the map. Soul Snipe's going to be stuck in a sandwich here and not one that you eat, one that you don't want to be in. As Sab gets that cleanup kill, a 10 to 6 lead for G1. Suppress coming in quick with the bandit rifle. It looks like the rest of Native Red are trying to take some kind of battle route. They're trying to get out of the line of sight of gamers first, but they're continuing to get hunted down in every single corner. Luckily, Soul Snipe was able to take down Falcated, but unluckily for him, he ends up getting taken out right afterwards, and the rest of G1 are now baiting out the overshow. The first one in Manny tries to make a play for it. Talik trying to put his body on the line and in between gamers first, and the overshow, you see the, you see the shroud come in. And you see Suppress steal that overshield right out of the hands of Native Red. Yeah, Native Red needed that OS, but unfortunately, when you jump up on a West Plat and you see four members of G1 staring down the barrel of the battle rifle, it becomes a little bit difficult to pick that OS up. You see, though, not a lot of value so far out of this overshield. He's pretty much down to zero. He does get one kill, and that'll open things up just a bit. It extends their lead as well. A nine kill lead here for G1. 
G1 just looked to have solidified control of this game and this map right now. Native Red kind of stuck. Isolated consistently, being staggered. The, the single deaths right there, like that one out of Talik. They're just not able to gain space on the map without G1 putting damage into them. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a dominant lead out of gamers first. You know, there's no way you can get around it. The only uh the only saving grace i would say for native red is that it's still very early within the game so anything could happen here but they got to clean it up right here right now these trades need to stop coming in for native red and it needs to start turning into clean two downs clean three downs and then ultimately pressuring spawns i know it's easier for me to say here on the you know the caster's desk but at the end of the day you're in the match you got to do what you got to do native red need to change something all the one way to change it is right here in the hands of soul snipe it's gonna be a five bullet sniper to work with and a shroud screen as well make that two shroud screens there's one gonna be utilized there to stay alive he knows he's an important piece to the puzzle falcated gonna hit the death screen soul snipe starting to heat up can he hit the third one no but the damage has been done the game within five now an os stolen away once again by g1 yeah, five kill game obviously not favorable and definitely not a seven but you know this was an 11 kill game at one point and it might end up being another one as this overshield gets a max of value sab making an electrifying play to snatch up the s7 off the corpses of native red now moving into position here as well sandbag side four members of native red trapped onto the green side sab looks to be the first one to apply pressure takes a little bit more damage than expected suppress coming out of nowhere so does falcated that stray grenade out of suppress takes down the third and now talik left by his lonesome 34 to 22 gamers first just busted this game wide open yeah and they did that by forcing those spawns onto b and you saw they had every exit angle covered there was nowhere for native red to go and now with Manny dying first, G1 are going to continue to try and push the staggered players, the isolated players that are all by themselves. A great job by Druck, though, to drop down to his teammates here. And Sav is going to fall for the bait, so ends up going down. But the damage has been done. An 11 kill make that 12 kill lead for G1. What a performance we are seeing out of the new gamers first. They're just, just one team change and bringing in and suppressing place of Suspector where some doubt it. I've been reading the Reddits. I've been, I'm on the Twitters. I've been seeing the comments that everybody been leaving talking about that, that this was a bad move. But again, game after game, Suppressed has been topping the leaderboard, topping the damage department. If, if G1 have had a most valuable player so far in this tournament, I think you would have to give it to suppressed right now who is the newest member of this squad and the first time we we're seeing this player under gamers first has been quite impressive as gamers first now 10 kills away from taking down native red native red still within it but they have to fight and they have to fight hard yeah there just comes a, a, a stylistic uh, factor when it comes to halo infinite it just seems like suppressed is extremely comfortable on this roster also having an incredible tournament on top of that so put those two things together and you've got success but wait we cannot speak too early 37 to 41 native red starting to bring this game back with a little bit of momentum here and manny with a snipe at hand this could be a game on our hands I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost mentally chalked it when it was a 10 kill game and gamers first have, but hold on, we've seen we've seen quite a while i think we're seeing about 10 straight kills now coming out of native red they've eaten away at this lead and now brought it within one manny with the sniper rifle in the hands hasn't had the best game so far at 6 and 11 but now having the opportunity to absolutely go off this manny on the tower side we soul snipe called on the ultimate x factor in the game he needs to go off with it you're tired of a 43 apiece you need somebody to end this game it needs to be manny he has the game in his hands right now. One bullet, though. It's all he's got left. He's going to whiff that one. VR does come out. 45 to 43. G1 need to close this out right here. They need to play Discipline Halo at this point. Two players on the bottom center. Not going to be too good. Boo going to go down instantly. That's not the position you want to be in right now. They're not able to take space on the map. Falcon, though, gets a big kill. A two-kill lead now for G1. It's not over until it's over here, but Falcated coming in with that commando instantly goes down as gamers first only needed one more kill, but needed red right behind them here. Suppressed. 
the man of the hour puts his 20th kill on the board and just like that gamers first take the slayer 2-0 but native red showing and it once again it ain't over till it's over there that would have been one comeback if native red would have stole that game too yeah but it's got to hit the mental a little bit again right you're talking about a game that you brought back you said you said it yourself it was a 10 kill deficit they brought it within one at one point but g1 that's exactly what we needed to see out of them and they can definitely learn something from that there they they did they played discipline halo there was a moment where two of them were bottom center but the damage was done Falcon gets a massive double there at the very end and they end up closing it out. Very, a very great ending there for G1 and now looking to close it out in three with this next uh, this next game type. Oddball Streets is the next one. Can Native Red reset and recover here for this game number three or will G1 go on their way to play complexity in the Losers Bracket Finals? In the winner's bracket round one, it was G1 that 3 0 to Native Red to knock Native Red into the elimination bracket. And they had to go on quite a run just to make it here into the top four. They had to 3 2 Sentinels. They had to beat out the number one ranked team going into this tournament in Optic Gaming. But now history is doomed to repeat itself as G1 are one win away from sweeping the very Native Red that they did over towards the winner's bracket, trying to pull off the 6 0. Native Red need this win. Can they do it here on Oddball of Ball Streets? I mean, like, yeah, one thing about Native Red, though, and uh, the stat kind of goes along with this. I have a stat for this as well, which is really nice, actually, because that's the point I was going to bring up. Native Red is a little bit inconsistent, right? And, and I, I feel like as a team, they play off of momentum. So if they're up one or 2-0 in a series, you can essentially, you know, get, the, they're going to close that out. They did it against Optic uh, in, a, in a 3-1 fashion. The problem is Native Red, they only win 17% of matches when they're down 0-2. And, and and that that stat makes 100% sense to me. This is a momentum-based team who plays really Double well off kid. of emotion, in my opinion. And, you know, when you're down 0-2, the mental is chalked a little bit. Can they change that here, though? Can, can they can they make that stat go away in this series? This is their chance to do it. I mean, we're at the very beginning of Season 2. This is their chance to change how they're looked at. Yeah, I feel like if I had to put a number on like how many, what's the percentage that we see reverse sweeps, I would probably say 70% on reverse sweeps, period. But yeah. like it's almost like Native Red haven't been putting themselves in a position to get that reverse sweep by not even winning the game three. You know what I mean? Like, like, right, and, right. Which, which is tough on its own. You know, reverse sweeps are already tough, but every reverse sweep starts with a game three win. Okay. And right now, Native Red need just that a 28 to zero start here coming out of gamers first native red are able to break that setup which is what you want to see now they have a setup of their own here on the seat on the c side not that subway side and uh, they need to hold off the pushes that are going to consistently come out of gamers first we talked about them sending waves at you what feels like you know what well, feels like you know instead of four members come at you sometimes five sometimes six with how fast they come at you off a of spawn Oh, they've got a setup here on the on the tram side. The only player in position to potentially stop that setup is Boo Boo. So who was gonna ask for assistance there on that B rail side to open up the lane for himself? He ends up going down, but all that space taken on the map is gonna grant G1 the rockets, which will essentially allow them to break the tram setup of Native Red. You see no one really in position. The problem is if they do get into position, Falcon is gonna take him out. He's got one rocket remaining. And plants that rocket right into the floor. That's fine. You know, it, it, it's, it's fine. All that player goes down. I'm not mad at you, but it looks like the players aren't going to go down. In fact, G1, the ones who go three, make it four down. A full squad wipe here for Native Red. Desperately needing a talent coming back into play. Manny already holding on to that that uh that top ivy side meanwhile g1 have to come off the spawn and make their presence known right away talent with the assault rifle snaps right onto falcon but he ends up going down falcon is suppressed dropping nades after nade the first two fall due to it and now the rest of gamers first pushing in falcon to block that line of sight goes for the skill jump you gotta love that but ends up going down i like the confidence out of druck right here though he knows he's got help and support on the top of c so Challenges that fight. Now the rotation is going to come through to purple. talk has got a nice hold on the A side here. Decides to go away from his wall because of that. Suppressed takes advantage of that opening. 
But Native Red have gotten a lot of time on the board here. And that kill on Suppress, that's the Bulldog player right there. That Native Red were able to get down. That's a big player to kill, especially in this situation. They solidify a hold on to C, on to Tram. And they're continuing to get this time. But they've got to be worried about Suppress, who's making a push on B Streets. Once again, gamers first end up going three down, but suppressed, making a last ditch effort play to clear out that ball and get it into no man's land. So now we have both teams probably using that ball as bait at the moment. And with rockets coming up, nobody can secure ball time. You have to be worried about these rockets coming up and Druck right through the mid, right through the ATM side, and gets himself a pseudo triple right there while going down, taking down the Rockets player. Those spikes come out quick and they are painful in those tight corridors. They are, the spikes, one of the most powerful weapons on this map, in my opinion. You can utilize it to take so much position. It's a big double kill right there, but Three down for G1, Sab the last player alive, and he's in position to put damage on the ball player, but great job by Manny to just get out of there. Unfortunately, he does not bring the ball with him, so no time being garnered, but 70 to 36 is their lead. So they're gonna try and play some intelligent Halo here, get the slays first, then rotate that ball over. Manny doing everything he can to stay alive, but finally he gets taken down, and Druck will follow him as Native Red going to be down gamers first immediately snatching that ball and they may have been down by 30 points but gamers first are fighting to the bitter end booboo -boo -boo. the first one to fall for gamers first the rest of native red are starting to push them out we're gonna see a full rotation out of gamers first right over toward the bravo side they're looking to put down shots they're looking to do everything they can to stay alive but it's not gonna happen native red break through once again they do, but I love the play by Boo Boo there to be patient, waiting for the information, waits for him to take a couple shots, goes in for that kill. Native Red trying to get this set up on the tram again. Boo Boo doing a lot of damage here. You see, he still has shields. He can still be a valuable player here on this bottom tram side, but he takes damage and it's just completely pushed out by Manny there. A great play by Manny also stays alive as well. Three down for G1, and this could be the round here for Native Red. Just five more seconds needed here. And it looks like that's gonna be a native red taking round number one. And now one round away from getting back on the board. Gamers first trying to sweep native red fighting for their tournament lives right now. Yeah, we talk, I talked about native red being a momentum based team and that first round might be the fuel that they needed to start this reverse sweep. But it all starts with this game right here. Boo Boo does have the Rockets, and that's something that G1 has done a really good job of, at least in this game, is controlling those Rockets and making sure that Native Red cannot get them. Two Rockets used, only one kill, but awarded a Stalker Rifle as well. We see multiple members of G1 pushing out of the purple side. Druk was waiting for them and looking to get that easy backs back, but hey, you play on a higher enough FOV, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna spot them players in the corners and uh, the peripheral working well here for Native Red. Spice coming out. Boo Boo Dooboo can't quite connect with the stick, but Suppress coming in with the cleanups. He's able to take down the second one with the Stalker, putting down the damage with the third. That's gonna be a triple kill out of Suppress. This three down go Native Red. G1 having the opportunity to punish them off a of spawn. And if that happens, we should see some good ball time finally find the hands of gamers first. Yeah, I, th I feel like we're losing opportunities here, though, to get that ball into a favorable position. It's stuck at the bottom of the map. And I, I feel like in that situation, we could have, you know, with your teammates, with the teammates of G um, of uh, Native Red spawning on that PD side, rotation potentially goes towards PD. But of course, it's all hindsight at this point here. G1 starting to put seconds on the board, starting to add those seconds up and potentially going to look to take this lead. I like the route of Sab at this point, though. He knows and he has a lot of information on multiple players from Native Red, but can he make anything happen here? He's got the flank situation, but the timing just is not there for him. He gets a couple shots on the one, but not really able to do much more. His one is cleaned up, gets damage on the other, and that Double flank kick. is successful. Beautiful job right Triple there by Sab. Kick.
Hey, even though he wasn't able to get the, the kills himself, that was his sister valuable and ends up leading into suppressed getting himself a triple kill. So yeah, that is a successful flank indeed. And now you're seeing gamers first quickly starting to pass that 50 point mark. Rockets coming out for Sav, putting Soul Stipe down to one shot. The finish with the BR, a patient play indeed, as he has one more rocket to work with. Suppressed going right after Talik. Now you're seeing Sab with the flank onto Manny. Easily takes him down. Druck, the only player alive for Native Red in enemy territory he ends up going down as well and this is going to be another what 15 seconds almost 20 seconds of uncontested ball time Un unless the respawners come in yeah well the, the thing i i, I really would do if i was native right in this situation is just understand that sab has made a flank play two times it has been massively successful and just be aware of that you know be aware of where he is on the map and make sure to capitalize on the information of his location because Sav is doing some big work. You see, once again, we talk about this all the time. His stats right now, 11, 8, and 19. But he just made two massive plays to potentially give G1 this round number two. I, I don't even know how Native Red got that PD spawn to begin with. But the fact that G1 were ready for it and still were able to hold on to that ball for that much time. Eventually, Native Red do end up breaking out and snatching that ball. But uh, well played by G1 to, to adapt and be able to uh, to address those those off spawn players now you're seeing falcon flying off of the top row up from the heavens down to the, 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 the to the hells or to the depths of native red setup does falcon end up going here for g1 and once again native red find himself three down at the worst time suppress snatches that ball rotated back toward the back a side drops the shroud if they can get one more round of slays one more three down that could spell defeat here for native red you in round too. I'm just so suppressed by I, I I'm so impressed by suppressed 30 and 17 in this game as well had an incredible slayer in game number two continues to be on a tear Sab's now joining him the momentum is rising for this squad 20 seconds and they will win round number two to bring it to a round number three and being 2-0 up in this series I mean that's a good position to be in just 10 more seconds needed here for gamers first native red backs against the wall they have to start funneling they have to start straight lining towards the ball it looks like that's exactly what they do ball ends up being played despite the fact that gamers first only needing five more in order to win boo boo doo boo not able to take the chow onto talik onto the high ground and native red having one last chance one last app opportunity to end it right here in a 2-0 fashion here on oddball Trying to get this last five seconds is going to be a difficult task with how well Native Red are playing. They approach that 60 second mark. The push from G1 finally comes through on the PD side. And you see the rotation already happening here for Native Red. They get that ball all the way through to purple being chased by G1. Druck no shields. Has to stay alive in this situation. And Ubu putting in work with a stalker rifle. They're going to attempt to get one more kill potentially nope not even needed and this will be round number two for g1 we're tied at one apiece great win out of gamers first uh you know it's 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 it, it can be really tough here in oddball streets in fact it's one of one of the gamers first is uh worst game type of map combinations actually snow stats says that gamers first haven't got a single win on oddball streets in the top 16 team this year wow it, it, you know they, they're, they're able to bully you know some of the other teams during the open bracket but when it comes to the, the the upper echelon of team especially when you're here in the top four of a 4k they struggle so maybe it's maybe it's something that was needed to change the course of what they were looking for maybe it's just that one player that one recipe or ingredient to change the recipe here because gamers first looking a lot better in round number two and they started round three with a 17 to zero run I got to talk about that play by Soul Snipe, right? He had the kill right there on the bottom mid of the uh, bottom of the map, but instead he puts a shot in or two, then gets a different angle, unsuspected. And because of that, Native Red, that one play gives Native Red this back eight control. And now having a play on the defense. G1 do get 19 seconds of time there, though, prior to that. And they get two dead on the side of Native Red, but Native Red answering back right now with a setup of their own. And Falcade is going to push through. The Shroud screen gets a kill. That's going to be three dead for Native Red. And now control for G1 once again. 
Hey, something, uh, some, something lit a fire under gamers first that round two because man, they looking so different from round one. And look at the way they've been able to start this round number three, keeping Native Red on their back foot. And again, this is a must win game for Native Red. You're already down 0 2 in the series, you've already been swept by this very squad in the winner's bracket. Like, something, something in you has to like fight, has to come out here. And Native Red showed it in that round number one, but so far, we have not seen it since. You you cannot fall this level of a deficit when your back is this far against the wall. At some point, Native Red needs to show the claws and they need to start fighting back. Yeah, and the claws are at the bottom center of the map right now and G1 has had full control of the rockets this entire game thus far. Those rockets are gonna play a big factor in Native Red coming back in this game. But when Suppressed has the rockets, he shoots one and gets two. That's big value there. And continues to go on a tear here onto Soul Snipe as well. He's not stopping. Suppressed Double is 38 kill. and 20. He's about to hit 40 kills in this game. Someone stop this man. Once again, Native Red falling three down. And once again, Boo Boo Doo Boo and Gamers First are punishing him off the spawn. Native Red just spawned up and they're already going two down. The spawn trap is in. Gamers First are locking Native Red Double down. Kill. It's a 61 to 18 run and I'm afraid that that native reds run might be over here it looks to be so the push comes out from b two down for g1 but the rotation will come through to purple and purple is solidified right now by falcon and he's got the stalker perfect. hits his first perfect decides to get his shields back but will continue on this tear 78 seconds there he is once again another kill and all in the back they go as Suppress hits that 40 kill mark and continues on his own tear. His team following straight behind him. Just 20 more seconds needed here for gamers first. Native Red barely on the board right now. Native Red now gonna be on full dive mode, full straight mode. They have to go right into the fight and hope they win every single one of these individual gunfights. Although they're able to take down Boo Boo Doo Boo, they can't quite find the kill onto Sav. Once again, oh, wow. Native Red are being put to rest. Native Red are going down to Native Bed. Gamers first will be taking this win. There it is. One more second and there she goes. G1 3-0. Native Red to move on to play complexity. And what a performance out of the beast suppressed. 42 kills to end that game. Some incredible plays across the board from everyone on G1. That is a statement right there that this team has come to compete. G1 then showed us what happens when you put when when you put who really matters in the front line when you when you elevate those that that are that, that are the lifeline of your team when you put the gamers first within your Ooh, organization that's what that. happens this 6 -0, one of the best teams in the league the team that got third place at worlds and now you're moving on to the elimination bracket finals you're one round away from making it to a grand finals it took one change one high risk high reward play and bringing in an underrated player player that you had but that you knew had the potential that you uh, that you understood was a future star in the league no matter what the the, the reddit commenters say no matter what the twitter commenters say you you had faith in your pick and suppress clearly was right what did you what did you say tim for 42 kills 42 kills in that he, he last odd ball game he getting active in there <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's incredible I, it, that wasn't the only game tony the previous game was uh, you know the the previous slayer he had 16 kills the game before that he he's got the best kd in, in the tournament thus far and uh, we have so sna snow stats in the back compiling all the statistics for us so we'll let you know what that is but suppress is playing on a different level today and that's exactly what g1 needed they need that player to pop off and they just rally on behind him tony and they made it happen ladies and gentlemen this was this oh. has been one hell of a tournament this has been one hell of a ride and i just want to thank you all for for allowing us to be a part of it man we got the chance to cast some amazing match matchups some matchups that may go down in the history books might be the turning point for some players and some teams careers here in halo esports and season, especially here in season two uh but it is the last time you guys are gonna see our well, well, his beautiful face and, and me on what? screen. <laughs> Last time I see is uh, Tim or, or excuse me, Active. Would you, do you have anything you want to say to the people at home? 
Uh, yeah, you, you covered it really well. I think these were some amazing matches today. This is Halo. This is why I love the game. Casting matches like this are what I live for. Uh, this is absolutely a pleasure, of course, a pleasure to cast with you. Um, a pleasure to, to you know, entertain everyone in the chat as well. You guys have been amazing. Uh, just an honor to be here, and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity that LVT gives me.